friends, my children, my brothers, my sisters. Grab hold of your candles, grab hold of your flames. There was once a celestial being. He could have all his desires without any restraints, without any limitations. There was one problem. The celestial being was lonely. He could have the infinite he could not give. So he created he created someone another being just to give to to love to care for a being with free will so that this being will choose with his own free will to love his creator. For 2,000 years, his creator would anxiously but patiently for his beloved son to want to get close to him for 2,000 years his son let him down one day his son woke up decided to get close to him His son was loved so much. He was created to give to, he was created to be loved. And his son's creation, his sole purpose was to want to get close to his father out of his own choice. One day, his son had children, and his children had children, and he had many descendants. These descendants spread across many worlds, many galaxies. And 5,000 years later, a distant planet one of his one of his descendants he had everything but he had nothing because he didn't know how to use what he was given so he worked he didn't know what he was working for or why, but he worked. He didn't see his work pay off. He sowed, but did not reap. While everyone else around him was sowing and reaping, he was sowing and sowing and so on, and did not stop. Because of his foolishness, his lack of awareness, what was going on around him, he became wise, because he kept on going. One day, when he started to reap, Everybody around him asked him, how did you do it? He said that he worked. 
one day, everything that he worked so hard for was taken from him without explanation, without cause, seemingly without reason. He wasn't sad or mad, but frustrated, but then happy. He wants to remember the day when he had everything taken from him, but he kept on going and knows that he did not keep on going, not stop to pursue his dreams, that he did not stop to pursue his goals. He wants to know that even if he goes his entire life, does not reap again, that he was sowing his entire life. To him, that will be a win. He wants to sow for the hope for one day before his death, that he will reap again. But it's not why he keeps on sowing. Keeps on sowing because he loves to sow. So that's why he does it. We're all like a candle, We're only here for a short amount of time. Once you run out of oil, we're extinguished. There have been Billions, if not trillions, of candles have came into existence. Flames came into existence, have been extinguished. Some big, some small, some short, some tall, some wide, some skinny, some ugly, and some pretty. But each with their own unique flame moving their own beautiful way. The goal of this individual's candle is to share his candle, to share his light, to share his flame with other candles, to make them brighter. And through that, his flame will live forever. He knows this is only possible if he works to keep his flame alive. Because while he was given everything, one thing he was not given was the guarantee of having a flame like everybody else. He had a f he has to fight every day to keep his flame alive so he can share the light with everybody around him so that his light will live forever. May we all have a blessed night. Please Never lose hope in yourself.